let's see. Let's go here. Mm -hmm. Okay. I should be light enough here. Okay, let's see, there's one here. Mm, there we go, right here. Alrighty. Then, what else do we have here? Okay. Okie dokie. Uh, anything else? Oh yeah, we're missing a couple of things. Just a few more and then we'll be ready. That was a long thing. Let's do a picture this time. And I'll put this on. And there we go. Yes, thank you. Just give me a few minutes and we'll be starting. Okay, we're good. Uh, just getting, hold on, let me do something real quick. A little bit. A little bit something happening real quick. Stream echo, let's see. Yes, everything should be fine. Um, oops, that was the wrong game. Here we go. <coughs> Update information. Now I'll be right back real quick. It'll be a few seconds.
Welcome to the stream. This is Dragon P, and we are gonna play some more Dragon Rumpa today. Dragon, what happened to streaming in the morning? Long story short, I got tired, and I didn't want to wake up until now. I mean, I just got out of the shower, and I just ate some lunch. So we're we're all good now. You know, everything's okay, and um. Previously, on our uh, past stream of Danganronpa 2, which was last night, uh, I started a bit late, thus meaning that the entire stream would have to continue tomorrow, which is today. So, this is a continuation of Chapter 1. This time we'll be at the class trial. So, we're gonna find out what the hell happened. Now, before we begin it, I need to show everyone that I do not have any skill points. I don't have any anything, any skills. I'm not spending any of the of the skill points on anything, and our difficulty is on mean, on both act, action and logic. And we're gonna start. Um, right away. we have tw <clears throat> not yet. We have twenty truth bullets. Um, our little pet is doing okay. Kind of, and yeah, let's let's do it. Let's finish preparations and let's begin. <clears throat> let's begin with a simple explanation of the class I'll trial. Put this on auto. During the class trial, you will present your arguments for who the killer is and vote for mm -hmm. who done it. If you vote correctly, then only the blackened will receive punishment. But if you pick the wrong person, I'll punish everyone besides the blackened, and that person will earn the right to leave this island. <coughs> S such a cruel rule. Sure is. Before we begin, I'd like to confirm one thing. Is there really a killer among us? Most definitely! Mm -hmm. There's no doubt that the Blackened is lurking among you! Oh yeah. Such a sad state of affairs, isn't it? Pretty much. By the way, this class trial is gonna be 100% fair, so there's no need to worry. I'm the type who hates favoritism and prejudice. Well, not as much as I hate Monami, of course. Uh-huh. You hate me that much? Yes. Well, to him. Now, let's begin! Y you're telling us to begin, but what are we supposed to do? Absolutely nothing. No complaining, let's just settle this with our fists. Were you even listening to the rules? Didn't that Byakuya bastard get killed in the dining hall, huh? Then everyone there is a fucking suspect. Yeah, yeah, what you're really trying to say is that you're not the killer, right? Oh boy. No shit. You guys went off on your own and started killing each other. This has nothing to do with me. Huh? What does that mean? Anyway, why don't we try talking about the most pressing issue on our minds? What's the pressing issue, Nagito? Huh. The most pressing issue on our minds? Where we found the body. It's very strange to find a body underneath the table. <laughs> then, let's start with that mystery. All right. The reason why Byakuya's body was discovered under the dining hall table, we can start with that, but ultimately, we need to find out who murdered him. If we can't do that... No. Thinking about if is a waste of time. We have to do this, no matter what. So the class trial has finally started. From this point on, I will provide simple tutorials at every important moment. I'm sorry, but please excuse my ear-tainting rudeness. As things progress during each class trial, you will engage in, in a number of non-stop debates. During these discussions, all of your classmates will speak one after the other without any breaks. It's up to you to reveal any lies or mistakes contained within their statements. This means you'll have to use your truth bullets to refute what they say. Out of all the truth bullets you find during your investigation, only the relevant ones will be loaded into the truth cylinder. Use the left stick to move the reticle, or reticle 
and then fire with the triangle button. Pay close attention to each character's statements and choose your truth bullets to blast the right ones. Note that if you run out of time, you will automatically fail, so please be careful. If you press the options button during these arguments, you can review the controls. Well then, good luck and have fun. Sure will. Knife, blood stain on the table, and gaps in the floorboard. Why was Byakuya's body hmm. in a place like that? His body was underneath the table mm -hmm. at the very back of the dining hall. Yeah. After the killer murdered Byakuya, they probably moved the body there. Oh. No, that's wrong. Mm -hmm. No, I don't think the killer moved the body. Huh? Why? Try to remember what the body looked like when we found it under the table. Under the table. Though there was a lot of blood everywhere, there was no sign the killer actually dragged the body through it. Mm hmm. So that's why you think it's impossible that the killer moved the body. I see. I get your point. Oh, and here I thought I had a genius idea. Too bad you're so stupid and boring and unpopular. Your life is meaningless. Jesus Christ, Yoko. I respond better to praise, you know. But if the killer didn't move the body, why was it under the table? Oh boy. Yakuya was table. probably killed under the table. Yeah, very simple. Under the table. What? You think he was killed under the table? <laughs> so Byakuya snuck under the table for reasons unknown. And that's when he was killed. Then, shortly thereafter... We're gonna hear under the table a lot. Table. Th that does make sense, but why did he go under the table? Obviously, he was hiding so he could surprise us. That dude was always a big jokester. The hell he was? You seriously couldn't tell what kind of person he was? Hmm. Maybe he panicked during the blackout and dove under the table. It's a blackout, not an earthquake. Just because the power went out doesn't mean he'd dive under the table. The reason why is probably connected <laughs> to what Byakuya was doing during the party, don't you think? Yep. The reason Byakuya dove under the table, it's, it's connected to what Byakuya was doing in the party, then it's probably... What was that? Hmm. How did he get under the table? Oh! Yeah, well, we found it already. Oh, and that's, Crap. yeah. Whoops. What was he doing? Okay. That's not it either. Well, shit. Hold on. It's been a while. Damn, it really has been a while, hasn't it? That's not it either. Okay, so that's three. It is. I can prove it with. Okay, this. yeah. There's a knife. It probably has something to do with the knife we found under the table. Mm-hmm. Knife? Oh, you mean that thing that obviously screams, "I am the murder weapon!" Byakuya probably noticed the knife was hidden there. So in order to get it, he moved under the table. 
who is particularly sensitive to the presence of dangerous items, so I cannot deny that possibility. Mm -hmm. But how did he notice that there was a knife under the table? Under the table? If he knew beforehand, he probably would have done something about it before the blackout, right? Mm -hmm. Then, instead of knowing about it beforehand, maybe he saw it right at that moment. Like, for example, he might have seen someone trying to take the knife out from under the table. Mm -hmm. No, that's not possible. What? You seem rather confident about that. Of course. I have proof to back me up. Hmm? <laughs> this is almost like a real trial! During the previous statement, there was only one weak spot. But from this point on, there will be various weak spots standing in your way. No matter how many weak spots there are, there will be only one lie or contradiction in the debate at a time. This means there will be false weak spots. If you shoot a false weak spot with a truth bullet, not only will you fail to refute what was said, but you'll also lower your trust with everyone, and your influence gauge will take damage. If your influence gauge reaches zero, you will fail, fail. so please be extra careful. You'll have to rely on your own logic to determine which weak spots are actually lies or mistakes. Also, if you concentrate by holding down the R1 button, you can be- Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can feel like a- Yes, focus gauge. Mm, yeah, thank you. Good luck and have fun. Thank you very much. Alrighty, so there's one true- Well, there's one contradiction. Knife, bloodstain, gaps- uh, Okay, how many do we have? One, two, three, four, five. So we have a knife. Bloodstain, gaps, timer, night vision goggles. Gotcha. I'm sure Byakuya ducked under the table during the blackout. That sounds correct. Mm. If that's the case, during the blackout, Mr. Ham Hands must have seen the killer take the knife. That was impossible. But it was super pitch black. Mm hmm. It was so dark I couldn't see my food. Byakuya couldn't see in the dark either. Yes. No, that's wrong. He could certainly do so. No, Byakuya was probably the only one who was able to see in the dark. Mm -hmm. Why do you say that? If he was using those night vision goggles we found under the table. He could have seen what was happening. So... Are you saying Byakuya was the one who used those night vision goggles? Yep. Yeah, that seems to be the case. Your reasoning is out of focus. Uh oh. No, that's obviously wrong. It should be the other way around. Other way around? Seriously? The killer used those night vision goggles, not Byakuya. Were you surprised by Mahyu's sudden argument? Just between you and me, I was also surprised. Just kidding, I'm sorry. Now then, when this kind of argument resurfaces, you will go into a one-on-one -on -one debate called Rebuttal Showdown. On this mode, you will have to counter the other person's claim, draw out their weak spots, and argue against them. Please counter the other person's remarks with the left stick. Based on the shape of the remarks, it's important to know whether they're cut vertically, sideways, or diagonally. And based on that, you can skew the debate smooth to your advantage. On the other hand, if you ignore the other person's remarks, it was cool. It was skewed toward their advantage. In the bottom right corner of your screen, a number that shows the sharpness of your counter is displayed. This is the number of times you can count remarks during one round of the debate. You will lose counts of sharpness even if you miss, so please be very, very careful. <coughs> when a mood skews to your advantage at a certain length of time, the other party's argument changes. This means the conversation will develop. If that happens, you will end up divulging some weak spots. However, you cannot normally count remarks that contain these parts. It'll skew me towards the other party, but it's gonna be very big. Okay. Get rid of me. Yeah, triangle. Gotcha. Let's see. The truth blade. Yeah. Was a truth blade contacting you? Yeah. Okay. Make the person in charge of the week at this. Wait, I will make sure the person in charge of contacting you takes a very long vacation. Uh, truth bullets are called truth blades. Mm, that's about it. Very changes in handbook menu. I mean, the name was changed, but don't you think a change of feeling is it's important? It is. Thank you. Alright. We got knife, 
Duralumin and iron. If you just use if the killer obviously use those night vision, that's gotta be it. Where's your poop that the killer used them? Because if they used night, then they could have killed Byakuya even in the dark. Mm, in reality, that's so those goggles were planned in a bit. The killer brought them to the crime scene. Allow me to cut through those words. Mm -hmm. There's only one way you can have those no, goggles. Yakuya was definitely the one who brought those night vision goggles. Definitely? But why? Inside the Duralumin case, Byakuya... Duralumin! Thank you. Gotcha. We found a smaller case mm. for storing the night vision goggles. Which means we can assume that the night vision goggles were kept inside that Duralumin case as well. Woohoo! I said assume! Ibuki never uses such clever language. Plus, mm -hmm. Yakuya was the only one who could have taken the night vision goggles out of the case. Since he was carrying it around before the blackout in the first place. I see. When you put it like that, it makes sense. Then, was that knife inside the case too? Mm -mm. If there were night vision goggles inside, it wouldn't be weird for a knife to be in there too. It would be weird. I am weird, aren't I? At times like this, I'd rather be fantasizing about tonight's main dish. Ew! You totally mean that in a perverted way! Mm. The knife was brought to bought in the Duralumin case along with the night vision goggles too. No, that's not possible. The knife was hidden in the ground before the party started. Actually, I proved it. I see! Duck tape. There was duct tape left under the table where the body was found. Wonders again, under the table. Duct tape? They probably hit the knife by duct taping it to the underside of the tape. Mm-hmm. Oh, so that's why we found the duct tape there. Though Byakuyo was thorough, even he couldn't have noticed a weapon taped to the underside of the table. This may be off topic, but why was Byakuya acting so paranoid? Mm -hmm. Not only did he bring a self-defense kit, but he had night vision goggles inside the case too. Yeah. That's true. He went above and beyond being a little cautious. Now that you mention it, that applies to the dangerous items he confiscated as well. It's one thing to be a little cautious, but performing a body check is a bit much. He probably knew someone was planning to commit a murder. Yes, he was. Are you saying he predicted the murder? Could it be? Was he also in possession of the all-seeing eye? <laughs> you think so too, right, Hajime? Hmm, that's right. Yakia probably knew if there was a possibility the murder was there. Yeah, there would be. This. I can prove it with this. Everyone, can you please take a look at this? Be careful, the first kill will happen tonight. Someone will definitely kill someone. Hey, the hell is this? Hajime and I found this in Byakuya's cottage. It looks like a threatening letter someone sent for him. Mm -hmm. So, who's the someone? Nobody besides Monokuma would write such a dumb, threatening letter like that. Wasn't me! Mm-hmm. Are you sure? The only lies I tell are friendly lies! Those are still lies! Huh? <laughs> doesn't matter who wrote it yet. So, Yakuya became paranoid because of this threatening letter? Mm-hmm. He probably decided to throw a party because of the letter. What do you mean? By gathering everyone in one place, he tried to create a situation where everyone could keep tabs on each other. In doing so, mm -hmm. he tried to put the writer of the letter in a situation where they couldn't act. Yep. But the letter might have been just a little prank. Just a prank, bro. As long as he was determined not to let any of us die, he couldn't take that risk. The strong sense of responsibility made him believe the letter was legitimate. Hmm. Uh, he should have told us he received a threatening letter. If he had, we would have panicked. Byakuya probably knew that too. Mm -hmm. So, he tried to do something about it without telling anyone? see a strong sense of responsibility as our leader was his undoing screw that noise who the hell wrote that letter well obviously the killer 
the killer. Is it really one of us? Who is it? Among us, who's the one who killed Byakuya? <laughs> Enough already! Show yourself, you coward! If they were willing to come forward, they never would have committed a murder in the first place! But I still can't believe it. Someone in this room killed Byakuya. There's no way I can believe that yet. Um, pardon me. Can I say something, please? Yes. What is it, Miss Sonia? I regret that I must return to this topic, but I just realized something concerning the night vision goggles. If Byakuya was indeed wearing those goggles, how did the killer manage to navigate in the dark? You're right. They wouldn't have been able to see anything without the night vision goggles. Mm -hmm. But if the murderer had the goggles when they took the knife, then how did Byakuya see them? Even if the knife bore some sort of mark, it would have been difficult to see it in that darkness. No. The killer definitely used a mark. And because of this mark, the killer was able to get the knife from under his hands. It would be... Hmm, get the knife from under the table. Oh, okay. Crap! Don't give a half ass as much. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. So it's gotta be the glowing. I see. Yeah, glowing paint. Thank you. What if the glowing paint was the mark? With that, you'd be able to get the knife even in the dark. In actuality, the knife we found under the table and the duct tape stuck to the underside of the table were both marked with glowing paint, right? Does that mean the killer painted them in advance? But painting them with glowing paint? It's as if they knew the blackout was going to happen. They had to have already known. That's why they used the glowing paint as a mark. Which means whoever set up the blackout is the killer. That seals it. The killer is whoever was in the office with the circuit breaker. Huh? Which means it was you, Peko Pekoyama! Peko Peko! <gasps> Peko killed poor Byakuya? Was this island not big enough for two glasses wearers? Glass wearing. I'm not the killer. Oh, I guess she's not. How can you believe her so easily? But with Peko's height, I don't think she'd be able to reach the circuit breaker in the office. I, I don't care about a technicality mm -hmm. like that. Peko's the one who tripped the breaker and caused the blackout. By tripping the breaker directly from the office, Peko was the one who caused the blackout. Is that really what happened? After this debate, blue-colored weak spots will start appearing. If we call these weak spots you've seen up till now, argue spots. The blue color weak spots will be called agree spots. When shooting agree spots with tree bullets, you need to flip your way of thinking. Instead of arguing the other person to testimony of lies and mistakes, please why the tree bullets with one. Yeah, okay. Testimony correct. Alright, and the tree bullets won't the weakest, it will become a total logically sound agreement. Isn't that a little hot in here? From now on, you must infer with whether it's best to agree, argue, or agree based on what's being debated. You press the options button. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you for telling me the same thing. Good luck and have fun. Good luck and have fun. Good luck and have fun. We know! Teru, Teru, Chiaki, and Nakamaru. Since Pekka was in the office, she could have caused the blackout at any time! That's impossible. Huh? Why is it impossible? Because I was not in the office. Mm -hmm. Not even before the blackout. What happened to your guard duty? Mm -hmm. Sorry. Oh, you weren't in the office? That's clearly a desperate excuse. Mm. Since Pekka was in, she could have caused the blackout. Because I was not in the office, not even before the blackout. I agree with that. Yeah, I, 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 I remember now. No, I think Pekka was telling the truth. Mm hmm. Don't tell me you're crushing on Pekka. 
Peck Peko. And yet it's nothing like that at all. Nikomaru's account is actually Peko's alibi. I've been trying to use it many times, but the door just won't open at all. It's true. Someone was occupying the bathroom for a long time shortly after the party started. <sighs> and it was finally freed up after Byakuya's body was discovered. Uh, then the person who was in the bathroom that whole time was actually... Everyone else besides Pekka was in the dining hall after the party started, right? Yep. I see. So there's no way anybody else could have locked themselves in the bathroom except Pekka. Yeah. I... I guess that would be... true. You locked yourself in the commode? You should have said so earlier! There's no way she'd actually say that. Gosh, you are so insensitive. If she locked herself in the bathroom for that long, there's no doubt. Oh boy. Shit. <laughs> oh, there's no way she'd admit it. There's no way she'd admit she was taking a shit. Hey, weren't you guys taught any basic manners, or were you raised in a locker room? God damn it, Nakamaru. I'm sorry. It's fine. How about we stop talking about this and move on to something else? But don't worry. The smell wasn't that strong. I used the bathroom right after you. So stop! I said it's fine. God. But still, you were in the bathroom for a really long time. Did you get food poisoning or something? As soon as I stepped into the office, I felt this sudden rush of pain in my stomach. Because of that, I was unable to leave the bathroom, including when the blackout occurred. Hey, how did it feel to do your business in the dark? Stop. We are not Excited. doing this. Seriously, stop it. Thank you. But still, your stomach pain. Was that really just a coincidence? Hey, what's the deal? Don't butt into other people's business, especially if you didn't do any investigating. <laughs> I'm only butting in because you fucking idiots are out of your element. Stop this childish nonsense. Just what do you mean by coincidence? What I mean is, is it possible someone slipped her some laxatives? Ah. Uh. Laxatives? If so, the killer could have tripped the breaker as soon as that girl left the office, don't you think? I see. That might have happened. Question is whether Pekko's stomachache was a coincidence or someone intentionally caused it. Depending on the answer, the outcome of this trial would could change drastically. Okay. I well actually nobody could make it. Because, um hold on. Nice timer. Timer. Did you eat anything weird? I don't remember eating anything weird. Now that you mention it, you brought food to the office, right? Yeah. Just a little bit from the dining hall. There might have been some laxatives in it, don't you think? Turo mm. Turo cooked the food, how suspicious! I wouldn't do anything like that! Laxatives would ruin the taste. Mm. Mother Pekka's stomach ache was a coincidence, or if someone intentionally caused it. We need to clarify that first. Did you eat anything weird? One of oh, party dishes. I Hold on, let me read that. Party dishes, party dishes, party dishes, party dishes, party dishes, party dishes. There is. Okay, yeah. Don't remember eating anything weird. Now that you met, you brought food to the off just a little bit from- There might have been some laxatives in it, don't you think? Turo Turo cooked the food, how suspicious! Oh, well, I missed. I, I wouldn't do anything like that! Laxatives would ruin the taste! That's true. Okay, so I found something- I found something off. Now that you met, you brought food to the off just a little bit from- There might have been some laxatives in it. No, that's wrong! Gotcha. It's impossible that laxatives were slipped into the food in the dining hall. Because Pekka wasn't the only one who ate that food. Akane ate some of it too. If the food had laxatives in it, I'm pretty sure Akane would have had stomach issues as well. Mm -hmm. I feel totally fine. Like I said, the, the dishes are innocent. Don't go making weird accusations. I apologize for causing a scene. 
Fuyuhiko should apologize, not you. He's the one who made the laxative accusation. What the fuck did you say, bitch? Uh-oh. Cease this bickering. Cease this. I said seize it. Let's just dismiss Peko's stomachache as a coincidence and go back to discussing the blackout. Yeah, yeah. We already know that, you trashy skank. You don't have to tell us. Trashy skank? Jesus. As long as the murder happened during the blackout, then the blackout itself is what's actually important. So we need to make it clear how that blackout occurred. Okay, we have irons and storage room, storage room tablecloth, Teru Teru's account, Tsuyaki's account, and Nakamaru's account. We got that out of the way. Who tripped the breaker and how did they do it? If you can't answer that, I'm gonna bop you on the head. I'm a bop. Did they you. throw a stone and hit it? No. Maybe they used a remote control? They probably messed with the breaker. No, no. It does not have to be the breaker. They may have tampered with the power supply and transmitters. Oh, but, uh, I thought that was it. Crap. Hold on. Who tripped the breaker and how did they do it? If you can't answer that, I'm going to bop you on the head. Did they throw a stone and hit it? Yeah, it must be that. Maybe they used a remote control? It's gotta be this. We don't have an AC timer on us. probably messed with the breaker. Mm. It does not have to be the breaker. They may have tampered with the power supply and transmitters. Mm. Or maybe they caused a power surge? Gotcha. I agree with that. I was off. Like, I was really off. It's just as Mahiru said. The blackout was caused by a power surge. Of course, that's not a coincidence. Someone caused it intentionally. Which is why those three irons were arranged to cause the blackout. Mm -hmm. When you found them right after the blackout, the irons were still on, right? Bingo. So by leaving those irons on in the storage room, they deliberately caused a power surge. Yeah. It seems that's how the killer caused the blackout. Stupid fool! Oh boy. Nakamaru when he died. Hold on a second, let me speak too. What the heck? You say the irons in the storage room were used to trigger the blackout? That's inexcusable! <laughs> timer, night vision. Alright, AC timer, night vision, Dura Lumen, uh, irons, storage room, tip box, timer. The irons in the storage room caused the blood. And for the killer to turn the irons on, you're saying they went all the way to the storage room? Then that means everyone who is in when the blackout occurred can't be a suspect. No, just because people were in the dining hall doesn't mean they're not a suspect. But the people in the dining hall were. If the irons caused the blackout, Allow me to cut through those words. Yep. The irons are just one reason the blackout occurred, but they weren't the direct trigger. The direct trigger mm -hmm. was when the air conditioners in the dining hall and office clicked on. The air conditioners! The timers for both air conditioners were set to 11.30 p.m. Mm -hmm. 11.30 p.m.? Mr. Ham Hams died around that time, too! Mm -hmm. I see. When the timers activated the air conditioners, the breaker was tripped and caused a blackout. I see! I understand! Indubitably! Indubitably? That. <laughs> they probably checked the old building's energy usage in advance, and used the irons to nearly max it out. So once they set the air conditioner's timers, just had to wait until they started up on their own. If so, even if Peckle was in the office, it still would have been possible to cause a blackout, indubitably. Indubitably? Miss Sonia, <laughs> not you too. <laughs> Regarding the energy usage, they probably asked Monokuma about it. Mm -hmm. Dun dun dun! Is she right? Such a hateful bear! You deserve to die a thousand deaths! Die a thousand deaths? Oh, is that Akuma? A thousand, you say? If I died that many times, 
I might really stay dead, you know? Shut up! You guys just stay quiet! I couldn't have prevented the blackout even if I was in the office. Even so, I feel regret. If I was in the office, I could have reset the breaker in time. And maybe the murder wouldn't have occurred. Poor Pekka Pekka. No. The breaker in the office was built into a high area of the wall that's impossible to reach. Resetting the breaker in that darkness would have been impossible, no matter what. Sounds like you don't need to blame yourself. Even so, the killer is so sly. I'm starting to worry we may never actually find them. It's all right. You don't have to worry. Because they're just a petty killer, right? They can't defeat symbols of hope like you guys. Here it comes. Uh. There's no way everybody will lose now. This little incident will just be a stepping stone for you all. Stepping stone. <laughs> In the end, hope always wins. That's what I believe. N Nagito? W what happened to you? Huh? What do you mean? Well, you have been saying this whole time that there's no way a killer could be among us. Huh. Is that so? Well... Let's just put that minor detail aside for now and talk about the incident. For now, we found out how the blackout occurred. But the question is, who caused it, right? Anybody could have hid and set the timers for the air conditioners. Setting up the irons in the storage room could have been done before Byakuya set foot in the old building. I like this. What a shame. Any one of us is capable of that. What are you implying? He's just saying, after all this time, we still haven't made any progress. Oh. Huh? Even though we have been arguing for so long? I mean, it's been 42 minutes, so. Unfortunately, it's the truth. Despite the fact that we've discussed this at length, there's not even one clue that leads to the killer. Mm -hmm. But that might be because there's no way any of us could be a killer. You're changing your story again? Anyway, I have an idea about what we all should do at this point. Mm -hmm. Has anyone thought about our situation like this? Instead of surviving by doubting others, isn't it better to get killed for believing in others? <laughs> Doesn't that mean... Are you saying we should all just give up and die? That's some pessimism right there. Nagito, there's definitely something wrong with you. Yes. <laughs> you guys only think there's something wrong with me because there's something wrong with you. Jeez. Didn't have to go that far. Like this. There's no way that's healthy behavior. Anyone that's watching the stream, how are y'all doing today? Uh, for me, I've been doing pretty good lately. I mean, I'm still waking up, to be fair. Let's stop this already. We don't have to find out who the killer is. I can't stand this anymore. I don't want to do this to my friends. Oh. I I don't want to do this either. <laughs> me too. Please take me home already. Ah, I want to go home and eat candy. Me too. S stop it. If everyone acts like this, I I'm going to Everyone calm down. We're all friends. Aren't we? There's no way one friend would murder another. Then why did Byakuya die? Who cares? Let's just give up already. There are no clues that lead to the killer anyway. Not a single one. That's wrong. Oh, there she is. I think. Oh. <laughs> The silence on this. Did you say something? Oh. Because we've already found a clue that might point to who the killer is. A clue, you say? You know who the killer is? Mm -hmm. The killer? I don't know. But we do have a clue about a suspicious person. I think. I see. Then care to tell me... What's this clue you're talking about? First of all, let's try thinking about how the killer was able to obtain the knife during the blackout. 
Mm -hmm. Didn't we already cover that? They use glowing paint as a mark. No, not that. I mean before that. Hold on. The I forgot how I forgot how soft Chiaki speaks. Yeah, everything should be fine. Oh! No one thought. The fucking audio system. Gotcha. Hold the speed. Put that all the way up. Put that shit sky high. Save the game. There we go. Before? Is she asking how the killer got close to that table? Even if they had to obtain the knife by relying on the glow from the paint in order to do that, they needed to get close to that table while it was still dark. Let's try examining the situation. My hero's diagram might be useful here. There we go. The diagram of where everyone was standing before the blackout, right? Um, here it is. Here it is. <laughs> Alrighty. Let's see. All window, yeah. Cameras. The AC, the storage room. Care Terry was in the kitchen. Then there was... Nagito, Hyoko, Hajimin, Ibuki, Gundam, Makiru, The Case, Kazuichi, Nikon, Nakane, Yakuya, Nakamaru, so yeah, Chiaki was outside, Pekko's in the office, well, was, and Fuyuhiko was nowhere to be found during that time. Just as I thought, this diagram is the clue! Who the killer is. And how they were able to move to the table in the dark. That's clearly shown in this diagram. First, we need to discuss how the killer was able to move to that table in the dark. The killer probably used something to help them move in the dark. Oh god. It's... Here! The killer must have used the desk lamp to move to that table in the dark. The desk lamp? I hope you don't mean they turned on a light or something. <laughs> there was a blackout. There's no way the killer could have used the desk lamp. Mm -hmm. Of course, there's no way they used a desk lamp light. The killer actually used the power cord. <laughs> they didn't turn the desk lamp on. They used its power cord. The power cord? They could have felt their way to that table using the power cord, right? By doing that, the killer was able to move to the table, then use the glowing paint to find the knife. And there's only one person here who could have done that. Who? There's only one person here who could have possibly done it. Sans Undertale, you motherfucker. You're the only one! Nagito, it was you, wasn't it? Me? Judging from everyone's positions before the blackout, the only person near the power cord was you. Which means, the only one who could have felt their way to the table using the power cord was... Nagito! <laughs> That's just a coincidence! But still, mm -hmm. you had a chance, right? A chance to hide the knife under the table? You were cleaning, after all. I see! Yeah. He was cleaning Nagito, the whole time! Weren't you cleaning the dining hall all morning? If so... You would have had a chance to hide the knife. That's... If you factor in the power cord and the time you spent cleaning it, you're the only one who could have done it. Seriously! That's all just a coincidence! If it was just one coincidence, it'd be fine. But when it's one right after another, I wonder... Is something like that even possible? Mm. Could it be? Did you give yourself cleaning duty on purpose so you could hide the knife under the table? Now that you mention it, Nagito did prepare the drawing to pick who cleaned the dining hall. Mm -hmm. To be honest, I already prepared a drawing because I assumed something like this would happen. 
with the trouble of carrying this, just what do you think would happen? Whoever draws a chopstick with a red mark on it will be in charge of cleaning. Okay? Does that sound fair? You rigged the drawing, didn't you? That's how you got picked to clean the dining hall, isn't it? I don't know if you're the killer or not, but regardless, it proves that you're suspicious, right? Uh -oh. If that's the case, that strange speech you made earlier, that was part of your plan, too. You got us to lower our guard and tried to hide the fact that you did it, didn't you, you motherfucker? Well, just admit it already! Oh, boy. <laughs> Nagito, tell me you object to this. Frankly, I don't want to believe it either. We investigated together. You were so kind. I can't believe you're the one who killed Byakuya. <laughs> oh, no. Nagito, say something! <laughs> <laughs> oh, here it comes! <laughs> Here comes the malice. The ultimates are working together to combat the despair of their friend's death. Uh, how wonderful. How beautiful it is. It's fucking eyes. Huh? Oh. His eyes. Yeah, that is that is definitely a very scary thing to see up close and personal. Holy shit. At that moment, Nagito's eyes. The darkness in his eyes shone brightly, as if layers upon layers upon layers upon layers of darkness were folding into each other. The darkness have grew. Uh, as if hope and despair had been crudely mixed together. Match. Let's cut to the chase. You're correct. It was my doing all along. Fucking Christ. I'm the one who hid the knife under the table before the party started. <laughs> I'm the one who used the power cord to find my way to the table in the dark. <laughs> and of course... I'm the one who caused the blackout. After all, there's no way I'd knowingly whip out a knife in front of everyone, right? Whip it out? Uh, is it just me, or does he seem a little nuts right now? But mm. I never expected Byakuya to have night vision goggles. Because of that, we had ourselves a little scuffle under the table. And, well, you all saw how that played out. Hmm. But with a twist ending like this, I think we can all agree this ended up being a very interesting mystery. <laughs> Byakuya performed admirably. J just stop it already! Seriously! What the hell happened to you? This is the best part about Nagito. Don't honestly. tell me. Is this your true nature? Were you lying to us this entire time? Yes. Me? Lie? That's outrageous! There's no way someone like me could ever lie to you guys. I understand better than anyone else that I'm ultimately worthless. I'm too arrogant to have dreams or cling to hope. I'm mm. too disdainful to actually try at anything. I've made peace with the fact that I'm a lowly, stupid, insignificant human who can't do anything right. Don't say that to yourself, my guy. Holy crap! He's totally the type of guy who spent his childhood killing neighborhood pets! He seems like Yikes. the sort of person whose eyes light up while watching Friday the 13th. Just like me. That <laughs> That's quite the hobby you have there. But, like, now's not really the time to bring it up. Mm -hmm. This guy. Is he... He the real Nagito? No, he's not the real Nagito. That's Sans Undertale, you motherfucker. Hey Nagito, if you were behind all of this, <laughs> then did you also send that threatening letter? Yep, I sure did. There's nobody else on this island whose handwriting is that painful to look at, right? 
But why would you send a threatening letter in the first place? I think somewhere deep in my heart, I was probably hoping to find someone who would stop my evil deeds. Well, I bet if that really was my reason, at least some of you would feel sorry for me. Some, aha. Uh -huh. Are you making fun of us? By threatening Yakuya, Nagito was likely able to manipulate his actions. Mm. Then how about that old looking building near the hotel? Well, if it's just cleaning, leave it to me. I'm actually pretty good at it. In doing so, Nagito was able to manipulate everyone to the scene where the murder would occur. Am I wrong? That reminds me. Nagito was the one who suggested I guard the office. Well, not only is the storage room packed with lots of stuff, it's hard to see there, and full of cobwebs. And I was so busy cleaning the dining hall that I didn't have, even have time to clean the storage room. If you stayed there for long, <laughs> I think it would be bad for your health. In that case, why don't you guard the case in the office? Oh, I get it. If Paco was guarding the storage room, Nagito wouldn't have been able to use the irons. The threatening letter, along with all your suggestions, was all a trap to manipulate us. Yep, that's true too. But you're wrong about one thing. Uh, huh? What? I didn't need to rig the drawing for cleaning duty, you know? If that's true, then how did you conveniently get picked for cleaning duty? I see. Well, there's no way I'd expect you to remember it. A worthless talent for a worthless human. Nagito's talent? I believe his talent is... Ultimate baby face, ultimate transporter, ultimate unlucky student. Ultimate I see. lucky student. Ultimate baby face. <laughs> You're the ultimate lucky student. Then, did you? That's right. I just trusted my luck. I trusted I'd be picked for cleaning duty. You just relied on your luck? You... you... know he did. It's not just luck. It's true my talent sucks. But I'm still the ultimate lucky student, you know? Huh? I'm left with the red mark? <laughs> for someone like called the ultimate lucky student, you don't seem very lucky right now. At the time, Hajime said I wasn't lucky, but it was actually the opposite. I was lucky. That's why I got picked for cleaning duty, just like I wanted. Woohoo! <laughs> Enough. That... I don't care about that anymore. More importantly, why did you kill Byakuya? Answer me! Byakuya was a very capable leader. For someone like him to get killed? The despair it brings. It's only fitting that you symbols of hope should use his death as a stepping stone to shine even brighter. The stepping stone. That was my only motivation. You're not making any sense! Fine. Let's start the damn vote already. I'm ready to fucking kill this psycho. Please! Monokuma! Please! Wait! Huh? The fuck? Uh-oh. Um, 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 how should I put this? Um, it, is Nagito really the killer? Um, what are you saying? He's already confessed, hasn't he? I, I already know that, but... Um, there's just something a little strange. If it's only a little, then keep your mouth shut. Your ugly face is stressing me out. It makes me want to puke. Christ. <laughs> I'm sorry. Stop hurting. Stop hurting the nurse, you gremlin. Um, for now, might I suggest we listen to what she has to say? But we know who the killer is. Simply listening is acceptable. However, I won't allow this to end with mere play. Now then, let us lift the curtain for our bloody spectacle. From this point on, lines of white noise will appear to disrupt your actions. 
Blah blah blah, disappear if they touch these lines. Gotcha. Obstacles? Yes, yes, a white noise. Just take him down. Take him down, yeah. Don't fall into despair, yes, meaningless. One more thing. You will have to shoot down a white noise. That'll be explained later. If you have to button, do the controls. Okay, so I I can't shoot them right now, but I can shoot them later. <clears throat> Ibuki's account, Chiaki's account. Hold on. Nakamaru, um, Ibuki, Chiaki, Kazuichi, Mikan's autopsy results, and Nakamaru's account. We got this out the way. I believe we're missing. Oh, I'm gonna just. Hold on. Here we go. Ah! It already started! He has already confessed. That bastard Nagito is the one who did it. He killed Byakuya with a knife he hit. Oh, oh that was it. That was it. That was it. Thanks for wasting our time, skanky bitch. Then let's prepare to cast our votes. Don't cast him just yet. I wasn't even ready. What if we got to get strange because she knows something that contradicts the crime scene? I, I think it's strange that... Yeah. The killer is so obviously Nagito! No. Um... He has already confessed. There's no reason to deny him. Um, you know... You know... That bastard Nagito is the one who did it! He killed Byakuya with a knife he hit! No, that's wrong! That's wrong! she go, yo! Is it still going? That knife might not be the murder weapon. That's what you wanted to say, right, Mikon? Mm. Yeah, I'm still going. Gotcha. Right. Um. What the hell are you talking about? It's obvious the knife was the murder weapon. But, but based on the entry wounds on Yakuya's body, the actual weapon should be roughly five millimeters in diameter. Mm-hmm. Five millimeters in diameter? That's like way skinnier than a knife! Hey, that better be true. If you screwed up, I'll sell your fucking ass to a whorehouse! <laughs> n -n not a whorehouse! Hey, why are you threatening her? Is this what you're trying to say, Mikan? As long as we can't prove that the knife is the murder weapon, we can't assume that I'm the killer. What are you saying? No one else can be the killer. It has to be you. Hey, mm -hmm. don't blame me. Mikan's the one who said it. I'm sorry. Shh, she's got something to say. Hey, Nagito. Are you still hiding something? Uh, hiding? Like, during the blackout, did something happen between you and Byakuya that we don't know about? Who knows? After all this, what else do you intend to hide? Jeez, the moment your back's against the wall, you get all silent. You piss me off! What happened during the blackout? <laughs> hmm. Mm hmm. Ugh! If you cross your eyes like this, it gives you double vision! That's true. Don't get distracted! Our lives are at stake, you know? Huh? Whose life is at stake? Us. Seriously, how long is it gonna take for you to understand the damn rules? Nobody can see in the dark. No matter how hard you think about it, the truth is beyond your sight. Mm -hmm. Don't you think that's a pretty clever metaphor? Despite the fact that it came from me? No, that's not it. Not it? What's not it? Mm. The truth is beyond our The truth is beyond our sight. No, that can't be it. There should be something to find out what happened in the dark. Ibuki, Ibuki Miyoda. I can prove it with this. Even if we couldn't see what happened in the dark, I'm pretty sure someone could have heard it. Isn't that right, Ibuki? Oh, reals? 
Don't act so surprised. You were the one who told me, remember? How everyone was shouting during the blackout? Uh, everyone, calm down! We gotta stay calm in a situation like this! Ah, don't step on my feet! What the hell? What's going on here? This, this is... Ow! Turn the damn lights on! I can't eat like this, you know! You guys? Where are you? W wasn't the blackout just in the kitchen? Perhaps the breaker overloaded? Hold on a sec. I'll go along the wall and do something about it. Such perceptive mm. hearing. Impressive. I'd expect no less from the ultimate musician. It's a good thing your ears are awesome because your face, style, figure, and personality totally suck. Oh my god. <laughs> You've cut me deep with your knife of truth. However, after hearing what Byakuya and Nagito said in the dark. What the hell? What's going on here? Th this is. Ow! It almost sounds like. Byakuya fought back against Nagito or something. Well, that's actually what happened. Mm. As a sign of respect for Ibuki's talent, I have a small confession to make. I was actually shoved out from under the table by Byakuya. He shoved you out? Just as the blackout occurred, I hurried to duck under the table and grab the knife. But Byakuya, wearing his night vision goggles, caught me and shoved me right out from under the table. That's right. I'm so incompetent that I couldn't even grab the knife. So, Yakuya stopped him when he was trying to get the knife. He got shoved out from under the table before he could even grab it? Well, it sounds plausible. I mean, just from listening to what they both said at the time. What the hell? What's going on here? This, this is... Ow! Ow. I could interpret interpret it like that. No, actually, when I think about it, that sounds like exactly what happened. After getting shoved out from under the table, I was just as confused as you guys. I lost sight of the glowing paint, and I didn't even know where the power cord was. Before I realized it, the lights had come back on, and Byakuya's body was lying under the table. H hold on! Are you saying you're not the killer? From the very beginning, the idea to throw a party, hiding the knife, setting up the blackout, it was all going according to plan. But unfortunately, my plan failed. And all thanks to Byakuya's night vision goggles. What happened mm. after that? Even I don't know. You failed? Th then you're not the one who killed Byakuya? Th then we're right back to square one! How can that be? We spent all this time talking back and forth! Meaninglessness. What other word is brimming with so much despair? But you can't give up. You need to have hope. Do your best and move forward. Rising to the challenge again and again is why you guys are the symbols of hope. Hmm. Is Nagito really not the killer? Is this guy really the Nagito I knew before? No. There's no way I can say that. I just thought I knew him. But this whole time, I didn't even know anything about this guy. I didn't know his true character. It's as simple as that. But now it's not the time for me to dwell on that. We need to find Fiakia's killer by any means possible. Because if we don't, we we will die here. Oh, right. This okay. Well now. Now then! The class trial has reached its climax, but... Okay, here's a question for you. Watch this. To those of you who have figured out who it is, how about you try out the Guess the Killer Challenge? 
Whoever fails to guess the right color will have their safety to melt away like butter. You're kidding, right? But if you guess right, I'll reward you with ten billion dollars. Ten billion? Of course, for those of you who don't know who the killer is, you could just continue on. Well then, what are you gonna do? Just kidding, you can't make a choice. There's no way to be able to guess who the killer is. <laughs> and of course, there's no ten billion dollars either! God damn it. You're so evil! A villain! You truly are a villain! Huh. Save current premise, yes. I kinda hate how they always... Okay, from this game and V3, they always suspend the class trial in the middle. I can understand why, but why? Why would you put a suspension on your class trial? I don't get it. Oh well, it's only for like a little bit. Hi, Mona me, and my heart is throbbing like crazy right now. The group's leader, Byakuya, got killed, and his killer is among this group of students. No, nope, I'm not gonna believe it. I'll never believe it. Cause I believe in everyone. So do your best. And don't forget to save regularly. Thank you, Monami. Well, what now? If the knife isn't the murder weapon, there's no definitive proof that I'm the killer. Sh shut up! We'll be the judge of that. You say you were shoved away, but you can't actually prove it, right? That's right. Even if a different weapon was used, it does not mean Nagito has been cleared of suspicion. Mm -hmm. But there's another reason why I don't think Nagito is the killer. There's still more? Based on what we've discussed, Byakuya was killed under the table, right? Is there something wrong with that? Well, even if that's true, I feel mm. Nagito looks, you know, clean. Nobody's ever complimented me on my appearance before. Not, Not even, even my, even own, my mother. own mother. <laughs> um, I'm not talking about your looks. Why does me then make that face? Oh! Uh, 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 uh. I see! No blood. Are you trying to say something like, why didn't Nagito have any blood stains on him? Yes, th that's it. Because under the table, there was a lot of blood splattered everywhere, right? There were even blood stains on the inside of the tablecloth. He stabbed Byakuya to death. It's strange he did not get splattered with an appropriate amount of blood. I didn't get any blood on me. That is weird. <laughs> you just used something to block the blood, didn't you? Something that might have been used to block the blood splatter. What do you think it could have been? Hmm. I guess we did see something I could have used. Isn't that right, Hajime? Hajime. There's only one thing you could have used to block the blood. It's you. I can prove it with this. I can prove it with this and that. We're talking about the bloodstained tablecloth we found in the storage room, right? Yes. If there are blood stains on it, that settles it. Nagito used the tablecloth to block the blood splatter. But that was found in the storage room, right? Are you suggesting he hid it there after the murder? You mean after the lights came back on? What would he have done if we'd seen him? That's true. The tablecloth was pretty big. So even if you tried to hide it and take it with you, wearing a tablecloth, going under the table, getting a knife in a blackout, and stabbing someone, that's not just impossible for someone like me. Wouldn't it also be impossible for you guys, too? Mm-hmm. Then, what does it mean? 
maybe the killer didn't necessarily stab Yakuya under the table. Uh, there it is. No, there's no mistake that the murder occurred under that table. Even the inside of the tablecloth was bloody, so there's no denying Byakuya was killed there. But that doesn't mean where Byakuya got stabbed and where the killer did the stabbing are the same, right? I don't understand at all! A place where Byakuya got stabbed and where the killer did the stabbing are different? Huh? Hajime, you look like you're onto something. Really? But it sounds like a riddle. I feel like I'm onto something, but it's still not clear what that is. Under the table, but not under the table. If it's somehow possible, it's the only way that makes sense. Moving forward, we should put aside all unnecessary preconceptions and just choose the answer. I think. In scenes where you have to figure out important words, the improved hangman's gambit will occur. The goals line up the letters in order. I guess it could be like, oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh, I think it's about time we talk about this one very early on from the game. A lot of people, from what I've heard, do not like the improved Hangman's Gambit in Danganronpa 2. Uh. Here we go. Hmm. Yes, yes, yes. Mm hmm. Hmm. Square button. Mm hmm. place the Yucky got stabbed, and the place where the killer did the stabbing aren't the same. Those Using those words as a clue, I should put aside my preconceptions and try to think about it. Something. Something is coming to me. Just a little bit more, I have a feeling I can see something. Hangman's Gambit. Hangman's Gambit. F. Take that away. Take this away too. E. R. Yes, I agree. F. Here. Come on. Hang on. Another F. Get this out of here. There we go. Um, anything? Nope. Mm. Ah! Here he has something. Got it! Yay! Under the floor! I got it! The killer must have stabbed Byakuya from under the floorboards! Under the floorboards? The floorboards in the old building are full of gaps, and there was no carpet laid out under the table. If they stuck the weapon through one of the gaps, they could have stabbed Byakuya to death. Mm -hmm. If so, that means the killer was able to get under the floorboards. So the 
where and how. I don't know that yet, but <sighs> I have a feeling there's someone here who does know. That's right. If I remember correctly, one person here should know how to get under the floorboards. Gundam. You're the only one! Hey Gundam, you dropped your earring in the dining hall, Oh, this is the right? good part. <laughs> Are you referring to the Hellhound earring? About that earring. I said, are you referring <laughs> to the Hellhound earring? About that Hellhound earring. You dropped it beneath the floorboards, right? <laughs> ah, there it is. I have found it. Truly, that is the Hellhound earring. Ha, 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 ha. It seems God exists for my benefit. I see. Good for you. However, how do I recover it? I cannot fit my arm through this opening. Were I to use a tool, it would probably not reach either. <laughs> Just a bit longer and I would have reduced everything, including that old building, to ashes. However, it's just as the old legend said. The Hellhound Earring has returned to its owner, to me! Is it safe to say that that earring is the one hanging from your right ear? Huh? Could it be? Gundam wasn't wearing an earring during the investigation. Mm. And if he had it on by the time the class trial began, and that means Gundam was able to retrieve his earring from beneath the floorboards during the investigation. So, Gundam knows how to get under the floorboards. <laughs> it's understandable. After all, you fools only view the world through eyes of glass. But I am different. With the power of my four dark devas of destruction, it is of no concern. Little hamsters. Truly. This is the evil fourth eye. Before the might of the evil fourth eye, all visual chaos is rendered asunder. What should I do? I'm embarrassed just listening to him. Oh! Man up and speak more clearly! Fine, I shall tell you all. The answer was in the storage room. Huh? <laughs> One of my four dark devas of destruction, Mirage Golden Hawk, Jumpy, has seen beyond the chaos. A secret passage of doom leading to the underground lurks beneath a large assortment of random boxes. I like this. <laughs> After securing a lighter from the supermarket, I threw caution to the wind and ventured below the floorboards. And as a result of that lonesome battle, I was able to recover the Hellhound Earring with my own two hands! <laughs> Tremble with fear, fools! Behold my power! I forgot how <laughs> God, I'm such a good character. What the hell? There he goes, blabbing about power and crap. You're ridiculous. You're just a breeder, you know? Anyway. It sounds like you can go under the floorboards from the storage room. Then that has to be how the killer did it. If the space beneath the floor is empty, it's not that far to move from the storage room to the dining hall. I see. If they pass through the storage room, I understand why the tablecloth was put there. The killer lurked under the floorboards during the party, and from there... Stab! 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 Hmm. Are you sure? Hmm. You don't like stab, stab, stab? Should it sound more fleshy? Like... No, I'm not talking about your sound effects. You're saying they snuck under the floorboards, <laughs> but that means they would have had to leave the party, right? So, was there anyone who was able to do that? No. Then whoever wasn't at the party is the killer. They must be the one who was waiting under the floorboards. Who wasn't at the party again? I didn't participate, but I was guarding the entrance, remember? Monomi over there can be my witness, right? Yes! This Monomi over here is your witness! I believe there's no need to discuss this matter further, but I was unable to leave the bathroom. 
I was in the kitchen for a long time, but I frequently went to the dining hall to deliver my dishes. Um, the only person who wasn't at the party... Judging from the photo I took before the blackout... It obviously has to be him! Ryuhiko Kuzuryu. Yay! It's decided! What? What the fuck are you saying? I'm not the killer! Oh, really? What happened to the tough guy who was saying stuff like, I can do it? Don't mess with me! I'll fucking kill you! See? You're making threats again! Yep, yep, that's right! Things are starting to get exciting! Good news! You are now allowed to use the silencer. Thank you. That's all I need. That's all I need. Thank you. That's all I need. Alrighty. Now that we got the silencer ready. What do we have here? We have uh, Ibuki's account. We've already took care of that. Teru Teru's account, Chiaki's account, Kazuichi's account, and Nakamaru's account. So two of these have already been taken care of. During the party, the killer was lurking under the floor like a cockroach. And they could have stared at panties all day without going to the storage room in the dark. Is that true, Fuyuhiko? Don't act like I'm the fucking killer! But when the party started... Nobody saw you, you know? Mm. That means you have no alibi! No, that's wrong! There was only one person who was out there. That was Chiaki. She's been out the whole time. No, Fuyuhiko definitely has an alibi. Isn't that right, Chiaki? Um... Oh, you're right. Gamer girl saw Yakuza man. Absolutely. How diligent of you. I saw Fuyuhiko after the party started. There's no way he could have been waiting under the floor before then. You should have said that earlier, dumbass. It's still your fault. Like, why were you even lurking around the old building in the first place? Sh Shut up! Maybe there really is a secret passage to go under the floorboards from outside. And he came to spy. What'd you say, motherfucker? Oh, no! <laughs> wow, he got chewed out, but he looks super happy. Regardless, it's impossible to go under the floorboards from outside. Chiaki and I already confirmed that. Yep. And someone definitely went under the floorboards through the storage room during the party. Uh-huh. During the party, it was probably during the blackout. Well, if someone disappeared during the blackout, no one would have noticed. But walking down that dark hallway to the storage room is like trying to make eggs benedict without any eggs. Benedict. You're right. I couldn't even see the office in that darkness. And that room was much closer. But is it really impossible? It might be better if we examine that possibility a little bit more. It was super dark, you know? There's no way you'd be able to find your way to the storage room. But I can't stop thinking about it. I feel like there's something I overlooked. For clarity's sake, once again... It appears we're getting close to the final stage. Uh oh The blackened or the spotless. Which is superior? I think it's time to settle this. Thanks for the monologue, Nagito. <laughs> Alright, what do we have here? Um, we have Dora Lumen Case. Took care of that. Party dishes. We took care of that. Uh, fire door. Equipment list we haven't talked about. Murder threat. We took care of that. So, just the fire door and the kitchen equipment list. The hallway was really dark during the blackout. Moving to the storage room like that. It's like making a seafood bowl without fish. Fish. <laughs> Is it really not possible? What if they used a string like the cord? 
Maybe there was another pair of night vision goggles? Oh? What a pain. I'm gonna go with my gut. What if they used a light? That's it. Thank you, Connie! I agree with that. <laughs> Thank you, Akane. I know. The killer had a light with him. You bring a light? No. Oh, I was right? I see where. But where could they have found a light? There was one nearby for sure. See? It's written on the kitchen's equipment list. 20 forks, 20 knives, 20 spoons, 5 iron skewers, 3 frying pans, 21 glasses. There are also iron plates for barbecue and even a portable stove for cooking hot pots. Iron plates and a portable stove. I do recall seeing them on the shelf over there. The kitchen seems to be well kept. There should be no problems using it. It's the portable stove. Stove. Portable stove? The portable stove isn't powered by electricity, and it's also small mm. enough to carry around. So. The killer used the portable stove to move from the hallway to the storage room during the blackout. That is true. I see. I never considered the portable stove. But there's a hole in your argument. Huh? A hole? What kind of hole? Oh my it god! Would be great if you could explain it to me in much more detail. Stop! Oh, I wasn't making a perverted joke or anything. It's really not a perverted joke. I'm, I'm serious. <laughs> Repeating yourself just makes it even more suspicious. Now then, Hajime, will you battle against me? Oh, what game are we going to play? No, that's wrong. <laughs> will you be able to break through my argument? What is that? What does he mean, battle? Sounds like we've been doing a game or something. Yeah, I'm gonna join the game too. Damn it! There's no way I'm gonna lose against someone like him. This is a bot. This is a boss fight. Night vision goggles. Um, night vision goggles. Storage room, tablecloth, party dishes, fire door, kitchen. Cook. Okay, done, 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 done. Did you. you forget what Kazuichi said earlier? He said the hall was too dark to see the office. The light from the stove that you mentioned. It contradicts his testimony. Or are you intentionally doubting his testimony? I don't doubt what Kazuichi said. What are you trying to say? Yeah, what are you trying to say? The reason Kazuichi couldn't was because the hallway was dark, right? So if a light was shining in such a dark hallway... That wasn't it. Shit! Crap! The reason Kazuichi was because the hallway was dark. So if a light was shining in such a dark hallway, so don't don't cut that. Wouldn't Kazuichi have seen it? After all, he was walking near the hallway, right? The reason Kazuichi oh, yeah. see was because gotcha. the hallway was dark. Okay. So if a light was shining. So this in such isn't the right hallway, answer. Wouldn't Kazuichi this have one. seen it? Gotcha. Oh, through those words. 30906. Nagito, did you forget? Or are you just pretending you forgot? Yeah, Nagito. Huh? What are you talking about? There should have been a wall that blocked light. I'm talking about the fire door in the hallway. If you close it, it would form a perfect wall in the hallway. Plus, the hallway rounds a corner just beyond the fire door. So even if there was a small gap in the door, as long as they pass the corner, the light still wouldn't peek out. Mm. I see. To actually notice the fire door. Just as expected of the ultimate... Oh. You still don't remember your talent, do you? Who cares about that right now? Nagito, what are you plotting? For someone who insists he's not the killer, you are quite nosy. You sound so scary. If you're that angry, why don't you take a deep breath? <sighs> there, took care of that. <laughs> you sure like to piss us off. How about I shut your fucking mouth for you? Hey, it's okay if you guys fight, but I won't allow a burly brawl that might offend people. More important.
importantly, can you hurry up and decide who's the blackened already? Time runs out when I get bored. Fine, I get it. You're telling me to pass the torch, right? Pass the torch? We're going to ask the real killer, not an imposter like me, to show themselves. <laughs> You're obviously oh. the killer, right? If you think I am, I really don't mind. Whatever conclusion you ultimates arrive at, I will accept it, no matter what it is. So, you're telling me to call it the real killer. Even though I really don't want to condemn that person, but there's no other way, right? The person who used the hallway's fire door as cover and used the portable stove to move in the dark and snuck under the floorboards to stab Yakuya to death using the glowing paint as a mark. So, the only killer I can think of is... You. And only you. Me? I didn't do it, Hajime. Fool. Let's see, who could it be? With a minute, 30 seconds, it could be you. Camera girl. Gremlin fuck. Uh, wolf, totally. Best girl. No, not at all. Yakuza man, who's just Eldwork, Edward Elwork. Uh, Ibuki. Sans Undertale. Nurse. Um, gamer girl. Ragna, Princess, uh, man, uh, mm, I'm a chef, uh, pack, pack, and a soda can. Uh, it's gotta be you with your brown you hair. Teru Teru, could it be you? Yeah, could it be you? Look at him, all sly and shit. Huh? What? What are you talking about? Teru Teru's the killer? Is that true? What are you talking about? There's no way! Of course, that's simply my assumption. So if you have an objection, please speak freely. Uh, objection or not, why am I being treated like the killer? Because the portable stove used in the murder came from the kitchen. That's it? That's the only reason you're treating me like a killer? Isn't that a little drastic? I can hear it coming out. You're cruel! Cruel! Too cruel! Ah... Uh, Teru Teru... That attitude is so not like you. For the ultimate cook to get so upset... Call me Chef. Madame Chef. If you fall to aspersions like this, who will be there to support the future of the culinary arts? The... The future of the culinary arts? That's right. For the future of the culinary arts, you must face this and fight it fair and square. You, you're right. Yeah, that's totally right. So what's an aspersion anyway? Is it yummy? Uh. Did you know asbestos is yummy too? You should try some later. Oh no. E don't do that. Nagito, why are you interfering? Let's assume that the killer used a light, and that they used the fire door to mask that light, and that they moved to the storage room and snuck under the floorboards. Then what? It's dark under the floorboards too, so how would they be able to stab Byakuya? You're not gonna say they shined the light on Byakuya, right? The plan would have been ruined if he noticed. That's right. What do you think about that? That's... There's no way you can answer, right? You personally haven't investigated what's beneath the floorboards. If that's the case, then Gundam should know. He actually went under the floorboards. No. Unfortunately, there was nothing related to the incident under the floorboards. The only thing I found was a strange liquid shining in the darkness, near where Byakuya's blood was dripping. What? A shining liquid in the dark? That sounds super important! If there was a shining mark like that, they would have been able to move to it in the dark, right? And in doing so, it might have been possible for them to use that mark to target the victim. Mm. Whoa. 
that was the mark. Knife again? I can prove it with yeah, this. Yeah, it's the knife again. Okay. The mark you're talking about is the glowing paint that was applied to the knife, right? Ah, by using the glowing paint as a target, they were able to judge where to stab even in the dark. I see. The killer didn't target an actual person. They just struck the moment the glowing paint moved. That would be the moment someone grabbed a hold of the knife. So. Killer used the mark that I prepared for finding the knife as a mark for stabbing. I see. That's why Byakuya got killed when he took the knife. But if they were able to do that, wouldn't that mean the killer knew about Nagito's plan all along? Well, Teru Teru! Seriously, I don't know anything. Really, I uh -oh. don't know anything at all. Then can I ask everyone a question instead? You again? Just stop already! Now, now. We should give everyone a fair opportunity to speak. If Teru Teru is the killer, that would mean he went to the storage room during the blackout. And just what did Ibuki hear during the blackout? Ah! Don't step on my feet! What the hell? What's going on here? This, this is... Ow! Turn the damn lights on! I can't eat like this, mm -hmm. you know? You guys? Where are you? W wasn't the blackout just in the kitchen? She heard... Teru Teru's voice in the dining hall? Doesn't that prove Teru Teru was in the dining hall during the blackout? That's right! That's exactly it! But Teru Teru was in the kitchen the moment the blackout occurred, right? So, why was he in the dining hall? I... I thought the blackout was only in the kitchen, so I panicked and ran out of there. Of course, the hallway was dark too, but somehow, I managed to move along the wall toward everyone's voices. Well, it's not that far to move along the wall from the kitchen to the dining hall. That sounds fishy. If I remember correctly, you can tell when a person is lying by licking their sweat. No. So, if you want, you should try licking me. No! No, 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 no. No way! <laughs> you look greasy. But I heard Tara Tara's <laughs> voice in the dining hall! Ibuki swears on her honor! That's right! Teru Teru was in the dining hall, not the storage room. Which means he's, he's not, not the killer. The killer. <sighs> Is my mic hold on, let me check if my mic's on. Yeah, it should be on. Thank you. Uh yeah. Okay. Continue. No, that's not it. Why? Why do you want to keep falsely accusing me? It's not like I want to blame you. I just... You should be so proud of yourself, Hajime. You're, You're just, just progressing, progressing toward the hope, the hope you believe in. Now, Hajime, show me more of your hope. Will that be enough to crush um. Teru Teru's hope? Uh-oh. This is where things get serious. Alright. Night. Blood scene. Gaps. Night vision. There are lemon. Let me ask you again. Did you go to the storage room during the blackout? There's no way I went to the storage room. I was somewhere totally different. I definitely heard Teru Teru's voice. That's true. It's handsome! Unlike his face! Maybe it was recording or something? Nope! Definitely a live voice! Mm-hmm. 
Right, as long as I have her testimony. The fact that I was in the dining hall cannot be disputed. Gotcha, bitch. I'll shoot through that contradiction. <laughs> Just because we heard Teruteru's voice in the dining hall doesn't mean he was literally in the dining hall. Huh? W why? Remember the floor in the dining hall? It was full of gaps, right? So even if you shouted from under the floor, it should have sounded just like the voices in the dining hall. But, 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 but... I see. So he brazenly shouted from under the floor to make us think he was in the dining hall. Is that true, Teru Teru? Hold on a second! Here it comes. Can you explain, explain this, this Teru, Teru, Teru? Teru? And uh, a three, a two, a one, go! I told you to wait a second, ain't I? Yeah! What are y'all even saying anymore? I'm telling you, I was in that there dining hall during the blackout. Where are you from again? Ooh, I was born in West Azabu and raised in South Ayuyama. Hey, you guys, this guy's a major liar. Mm. If Teru Teru was in the dining hall during the blackout, he should have been there after the power returned, right? Well, I believe so. There's no way he could have gone back and forth in that dark hallway. Huh? Was Teru Teru actually there during that time? I, I sure was! Whoa. I was, I was there, there the, the whole, whole damn, damn time! <laughs> Something like this shouldn't be decided by gut instinct. People's lives are at stake. Damn right! You guys should have been deciding this on the spot with your hazy memories! His accent is getting even worse! He's definitely lying! However, I am not sure. I believe that he was there, and I believe that he was not there. No! Oh, is there any way we can decide? There's only one way. Why don't we consult his memories? His memories? Gosh, yeah, don't be saying things like that don't make no sense! Can you even prove I wasn't in the data hall? I probably can. Oh, you again! You again! <laughs> Whether or not Territory was in the dining hall during the blackout, in order to know for sure, I just need to know that question, Adam! There's only one thing. You know what Territory is? A fucking degenerate. I can prove it with this! Spread Eagle! If you're claiming that you were in the dining hall when the power came back, and you should know how Mikan was positioned at the time, right? Whoa, what? No, don't make me remember. It's so embarrassing. Spray go. No, this is a very important question. Well, Teru Teru, if you were really in the dining hall at that time, you should know the answer to that. Huh? Huh? Um... It was a pretty clever way of tripping. There's no way you'd forget about it so easily. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I showed you something so unsightly. <laughs> How about it? You can't answer, Teru Teru? Um. Um. Huh? Uh. Huh? <laughs> That's weird. Just slipped from my mind. There's no way it would slip from your mind, especially not a pervert like you. Uh, um, even so... <laughs> Nagito, say something! Hmm. I guess you might have to give up now. Uh. Wait, give up? What do you mean, give up? Teru Teru. I'm disappointed too, you know. It's lonely watching someone I admire reach the limits of their hope. It kind of feels like a broken dream. Nagito, what are you doing? Why are you messing with the killer like that? Mm. Well, ho hold on a sec. Don't go moving this along on your own like I really am the killer. Huh? But it's already decided, right? Cleared up yet, Chef? It's no use. I can't understand him anymore. It appears he's saying the murder weapon hasn't been cleared up yet. You understand him? But it's such a sad defense. This is too cruel. Oh, 
Are you calling me the killer? Then where's the weapon? If you calling me the killer, then where's the weapon? Come on, Manumi. Enough with the whimpering and translate. Um, he said if you're calling me the killer, then where's the weapon? The weapon, huh? It's not the knife, right? Judging from Pyakuya's wounds, it was a thin edged tool that's roughly five millimeters in diameter. Also, if they stab from under the floorboards, the weapon would need to be at least 50 centimeters in length. After all this, who cares about the weapon? Mm. Not good enough! Not good enough at all! Not good enough. He said, not good enough. Not good enough at all. Fine, I got it. Let's try thinking about what the weapon was. Wanna do it? Wanna do it? Wanna do it? Um, he said, try to do it. Try to do it. That's that's. He said, "Wanna do it? Wanna do it? Wanna do it, bitch." What a confusing accent. Anyway, we need to focus and think about this. Thin edge tool uh, with a diameter of about 50 millimeters and at least 50 centimeters in length. Weapon that meets those requirements might have been used at the crime scene. Huh? What's that? Is that what I think it is? Hmm. Let's see what's here, yeah? I wonder what this could be. And... Oh. Where's an R? We don't need you just yet. There you are. Bingo. We... Don't need you. We need you. We don't need you. Get out of here. We don't need you. We don't need you. We don't need you. We don't need you. Get out of here. Uh, where is it? There it is. Iron. There, I did the answer for you. <laughs> Where is it? E. Show me the. Got it. Oh yeah. It's time. That's it. The weapon must be the iron skewer. Huh? The iron skewer? <laughs> Before the party, as Biagio was confiscating all the dangerous items, he spoke to Terror Terra. I check the equipment list and there seems to be one iron skewer missing. Ah, that's right. As far as I know, no, it's been missing from the start. So that missing iron skewer is the weapon? An iron skewer would match up with the wounds perfectly. Hey, Teru Teru, where'd you hide the iron skewer? Ah, ah, ah! Avril Lavigne! Avril Lavigne! Soy Avril Lavigne! Avril Lavigne? Huh? Did he really just say that? He's just saying random shit to fuck with us. You probably dumped it somewhere on the island, didn't you? Nope. This school trip has a no littering rule. If he had violated it, the island sirens would be ringing non-stop. Island sirens? Just for littering? Also, I was on guard duty, and I never once saw Teru Teru leave the old building. Which means, he obviously hid it somewhere in the old building. Hmm. It's probably the kitchen again, right? Teru Teru, just man up and be straight with us. Oh. Oh, 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 oh! <laughs> oh. 
Finally, we are nearing the end. A cornered opponent will be surrounded by soul shields, and simply will not listen to what you have to say. It will probably pain you to condemn your classmate, but this is a class trial after all. You must argue with your opponent and destroy their soul shields. A high-speed dispute battle where you beat down a packed opponent, excuses, and nonsense. That is the bullet time but ah, sorry! Uh, the panic talk action. Bullet time battle. PTB. And now it's called PTA. Panic talk action. We'll shorten it to PTA. During PTA, you must destroy all of your opponent's soul shields so you can deliver your final strike. In order to do that, you must destroy your opponent's remarks while following the tempo of the song. You mean the song that's completely delayed? Yeah. Time your button presses with a tempo marker as as it moves across the screen. Match the tempo marker by pressing the X button, and you will be able to lock on to the opponent's remark. If you keep pressing it, you will be able to lock on to multiple remarks at the same time. Afterward, if you release the X button in time with the tempo marker, it will intercept with the locked on remark and destroy it. By destroying the remark, you'll be able to damage the soul shield, protecting the opponent and destroying them. However, if you cannot destroy the remarks within the time limit, you will end up getting hurt. During PTA, you can- yeah, yeah, yeah. For example, this PTA, just focus on pressing the X button. Please wait for another time for other features. Do this consecutively and you'll start a combo. Keep this going, you'll sit and initiate a tempo up. On the flip side, if you keep missing, you'll find yourself in a tempo down situation. When the song changes, the tempo changes. This will alter the time for each button. Please be careful. Last but not least, let me tell you about the final blow. If you destroy all your opponent's soul shields, they will start to give their final argument. If that happens, four words will be displayed on the top, bottom, left, and right sides of the screen. Each of those four buttons corresponds to the circle, triangle, square, and X button. If you press the buttons in the right order, you'll be able to compose the words of your final strike. Please make your argument while searching for those words that will trump your opponent's final argument. Also, if you don't deliver the final strike within the time limit, your opponent's soul shields will recover. Well then, good luck and have fun! <laughs> what the hell are you saying, you doobie cutter, heck? He said, um, oh, what the hell are you even saying, you, you stupid, stupid country, country heck? heck? I guess we have no choice but to somehow find out for ourselves. The iron skewer is the weapon. The hiding it in the kitchen would be the easiest way to sit it by. But Yakuya and I checked the kitchen pretty thoroughly before the party started, which means... Was the weapon or was the weapon was already hidden somewhere we couldn't find it? it? Could have been in an unexpected place. Gee, I wonder where. Where would that be? Where did he hide a long weapon like an iron skewer? What stands out a lot? Think about it. I'm not hiding anything. He said, "I'm not hiding anything." I'm hiding anything. I'm not hiding anything. I must reveal to Terra Terra the conclusive evidence that proves he's the killer. Oh man, I gotta start going out there and start uh, taking down this Shut one. Shut up! That's impossible. Yeah, it's still late as all hell. Nonsense! Mm. Unforgivable! I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Nonsense! That's impossible! Nonsense! Paris Hilton. Unforgivable! Oh my god, know, it's so... Nonsense! Oh my god, it's so delayed! Unforgivable! Shut up! That's impossible! Nonsense! Unforgivable! I don't know, I don't know, I don't know! Nonsense! Ah! Shut up! Where would the weapon be? Bone on the meat! <laughs> I don't know, I don't know, I don't know! Paris Hilton! Paris Hilton! Ah! Unforgivable! I don't know, I don't know, I don't know! Nonsense! Me on the bone! I had to get that out of my system. B
bone on the meat will always be a thing. I fucking love that. The iron that. have been hidden inside the piece of meat on the bone. My God damn, the PTA is super delayed. What are you saying? There's no way I'd hide in a day in a place like that. Th that's clearly impossible. I mean, that's inside the food. Impossible. That's what Bianca and I thought. That's why we overlooked. It seems there are no dangerous items like that skewer and churrasco earlier inside that pile of food. That appears to be the case. Whew! I wouldn't have known what to do if he said fish bones and meat bones were also dangerous items. Foreshadowing. But in fact, the only place you could hide the weapon was inside the food that couldn't be inspected. Out of all the dishes you prepare, the only one that could hide a weapon as long as an iron skewer is? The meat on the bone. The bone on the meat. What now? I'm using my right to remain silent. There's no way that exists here. We need to confirm this now. So if we eat that tasty looking piece of meat and find the iron skewer inside, bullseye. All right. Monokuma or Monami, one of you hurry and bring over that piece of meat. One minute. Just give me one minute. <laughs> I'll eat the whole thing. Wait, now hold on a second. Time out, time out. What are you doing? Hurry up and bring it over. Uh, about that. Uh-oh. Huh? Where did Monokuma go? I'm right here. I'm already eating it! Ah, a bear that eats meat! Uh, wait, now that I think about it, that's pretty normal. <laughs> oh, no. oh, what is this? So yummy! Damn it! That's my meat! I've never eaten anything like it in my entire life! The taste brings me back to my days in the wild. This, this is bad! Seriously, this is really bad! My, my! There's something inside the meat! Look what came out! Isn't that... Is that... an iron skewer? Check it out. The handle looks like it's made of bone. Pretty clever. The sword of destruction, mm. encased in bone and sheathed in meat. It brought catastrophe unto Byakuya. As expected of Teru Teru. Such a fantastic weapon from the ultimate chef. Gotcha now. You're wrong. I'm not the killer. I'm not the kind of person who would kill someone. I got it. You all set me up. You guys set me up so you could blame this on me. Jeez, what a disappointment. Ooh. Such an unseemly defense for an ultimate like you. Can you really call that hope? Hey, Nagito. I'm sorry, but can you just be quiet? <laughs> Isa, you're all you're nothing but a bunch of poor, loud mouth fast food eating hicks. You, you don't need to translate anymore. Somehow I can tell what he's trying to say. Never, never, never said a word about cooking on your grid. Let's just deal with Nagito later. More importantly, we should first. I guess we need to settle this once and for all. To do that, you need to go over the entire incident from beginning to end and make everything clear. Go over the entire incident, and then I can prove Terry Terry's crime. That's right. If we don't do that, we can't end this no matter how much time passes. So, we need to do it. So it's finally come to this. My throb is chesting. Uh, <laughs> Every case has one last feature to bring the class trial to an end. This is the closing argument. In this phase, you'll, com you'll give a complete summary of the case. You'll have to reproduce the order of events in the case in the form of a comic book. This reproduction is merely Hajime's imagination, so there will be gaps here and there. Gaps are areas where a number of pieces are missing. It's up to you to complete the comic using the truth panels provided. 
Around three to five truth panels make up one set. Inside that one set, there will be correct panels placed among incorrect panels. If you use up all the correct panels contained in one set, it will switch to a new set. After that, you'll if you fill in all the holes, you will clear the challenge. I'm pretty sure some of you already noticed, but it will be difficult to complete with so many gaps. But once you fill some in, it will become much simpler. For those of you who played the previous game, you might hesitate at first, but it's basically the same concept. Yep. Now then, when playing and solving the closing argument, there is a certain trick. If you move the reticle into the gaps on each page, it will display the hint at the top of the screen. This type of hint will ask what kind of scene is drawn in the gap. Also, if you move the reticle to the truth panel, it will display a hint as well. This hint explains the scene contained in that panel. Put together those two hints and think carefully. Of course, don't forget that there will be a time limit. Well, then, good luck and have fun! Alrighty. Stock one. Everyone of the party is. Hmm. Oh. There's one that's right. Yeah, okay. There's one. And then we move this back. There's a storage room before the blackout. It was same scene as you have to see in the dining hall. Let's see. There we go. There we go. Okay. And then there's at the search room before the block out. Not it, okay. before the blackout. Oh! Okay, those are fakes. Mm, air conditioner turn on. Damn it. My health is running out. Tell Kobayeda. And then here. There we go. There we Here's go. Here's everything that happened in this case. Alright. I'll let this whole thing play out for y'all. Let's try going over the whole incident. Beginning with right after the party started. Up, 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 up. 
Yakia had us gather in the dining hall of the old building near the hotel. Alrighty. Yes. Yes. He was extra cautious about a murder occurring that night because of a threatening <clears throat> letter he received. Therefore, yeah. he decided to throw a party so he could monitor us. Woo. There's Chiaki. Though one person didn't come, the rest of us assembled at the dining hall, and the party was underway. But at that time, the trap set by a certain someone was already in motion. Oh boy. They plugged three irons into the outlets in the storage room, which nearly capped the power usage. Mm -hmm. Additionally, they prepared something else that would activate at 11.30 p.m. Oh. The air conditioners in the office and dining hall. They had already set the timers for this. Thanks to the irons maxing out the power usage, the breaker was tripped when the air conditioners kicked on. Since the windows in the old building were covered, the blackout plunged the dining hall into total darkness. At three. But when that happened, Byakuya took out a specific item that he brought in his case. That item was the night vision goggles. Byakuya was so concerned about a murder occurring that he brought a variety of security equipment with him. When he put on his night vision goggles, Byakuya witnessed a certain someone making a suspicious move. He saw Nagito guiding himself with the desk lamp's power cord so he could get under the table. That's right. Uh -huh. Everything up to that point was all part of Nagito's plan. The murder warning to Byakuya, the source of the blackout, it was all Nagito. While the blackout was happening, someone else, the real killer, began making their move in the kitchen. The killer probably already knew about Nagito's plan, so they knew a blackout was coming. That's why the killer prepared all the items they would need to commit their crime in the dark beforehand. Mm -hmm. They needed a light source, which was provided by the portable stove in the kitchen. They needed a weapon, too. This had also been hidden in the kitchen beforehand. The long iron skewer used in the churrasco dish. The killer hid that inside that meat with the bone in it. Mm -hmm. With the weapon and portable stove in hand, the killer stepped out into the hallway. First, they closed the fire door in the hallway so their light source wouldn't peek toward the dining hall. Then, guided by the light, the killer headed toward the storage room and grabbed a specific item. Uh-oh. That's right, a tablecloth to block the blood splatter. With this, the killer finished their preparations and snuck under the floorboards through the secret passage. Mm -hmm. They probably turned off the portable cooking stove at that point, or left it near the entrance of the door. The floor in the dining hall is full of gaps, so there's no way they could have safely held a light source. But thanks to the glowing mark they painted earlier, the killer was able to get beneath the table. Under the table, Byakuya found the knife that had been hidden there. If only he had retreated, he probably wouldn't have gotten killed, but he had to retrieve that knife. And at that moment... The killer lurking beneath the floorboard stabbed straight up with the iron skewer. The killer had been waiting in the dark for the moment when the glowing paint began to move. After they murdered Byakuya, the killer mm -hmm. purposefully shouted from beneath the floorboards to make it seem like they were still in the dining hall. Afterward, they came out from underneath the floorboards and rushed back to the kitchen. And then, after hiding the murder weapon in the kitchen, they rejoined the group as if nothing wait, had happened. Wait, wouldn't it, wait, wouldn't the blood, de wouldn't the blood contaminate the meat? It would, would it? There's only one person who would have been able to commit this crime. Especially if that person is someone who'd think of an unexpected way to hide a weapon inside food. Isn't that right, Teru Teru Hanamura? Uh-oh. 
That's him. That's what happened. How about it? Did I get anything wrong? Th this is a mistake. A mistake, I tell you. I would never, I would never kill anyone. Would never. <laughs> <laughs> it seems this is the end. <laughs> Unfortunate. Oh. Wait, I gotta cho- wait, 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 I'll let this go, and then, okay, B rank, thanks. I need to check that out real quick. Case closed. What is this? Clear the class trial without having to try one. Oh, shit! Oh, nice! I got a trophy, and I beat it without dying. That's nice. Thank you. All right. Well, let's get the hell out of here. <laughs> it looks like your argument has come to a close. Oops. I lost control of my wild side for a second. Was that a side effect of the meat I just ate? Well, putting that aside, let's move along to the nerve-wracking voting. Time. Alrighty. Now then, please pull the lever in front of you and cast your vote. I'll be back. Oh, just a reminder. Make triple sure you vote for someone. If you don't vote, I'm gonna eat you up just like that meat from earlier. <laughs> there we go. I'm back. <laughs> Why did this happen? Who will be chosen as the blackened? Will you make the right, the right choice, choice or, or the dreadfully, dreadfully wrong one? <laughs> Such heart pounding excitement! And unfortunate, too. Who could it be? It's brown? Round face? Round face in Danganronpa. <laughs> All right, it's over. Correct. Correct, Amanda. That's right. This time, the black and responsible for killing Byakuya Togami is Teru Teru Hanamura. No, 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 no. You. You serious? Out of all these people. Are you saying a punts like him is the one who killed Byakuya? <laughs> but... <laughs> Why? Why did you kill him? You, you've got it wrong. So it was a mistake. I'm telling you, it was just a mistake. I was only trying to save you guys. Hey! I was only trying to stop Nagito from murdering one of you. Huh? Trying to stop. What do you mean? I... I spent all morning in the old building preparing the dishes for the party. And then... I heard a weird laughter near the dining hall. And when I peeked over there... I saw him. I saw Nagito in the middle of cleaning duty, putting the knife under the table. <laughs> I had a bad feeling about it, so I continued to watch what he was doing. I saw him place the irons he brought in the storage room and mess with the air conditioner timers. Plus, he was grinning, just grinning by himself the whole time. So I questioned him. When that happened, he... You caught me? Oh, I've been caught? What? Been caught? Hey! What are you doing? What are you scheming? <laughs> I'm planning to kill someone, of course. Huh? <laughs> Teru Teru, just to let you know, it's pointless of you to stop me. 
If you stop me now, it doesn't matter. I will never give up. Whether it's tomorrow, the day after tomorrow, or the days beyond that, I'll definitely start the killing. Impossible! What? No matter how much you want to leave this island, that's just... I see. So that's what you think. Well... But that's not it at all. This isn't about my survival. I just want the killing to start. What? What are you saying? <laughs> I love everyone here. That's why I want to be of good use to them. I love all of the Ultimates. And I admire them for being the symbols of hope. Amazing! That's right. In the name of hope, I love everyone's talents from the bottom of my heart. That's why. <laughs> I don't want them to lose against something like killing. I want them to prove to me that hope will never lose, no matter how daunting the despair they face may seem. <laughs> I want everyone to prove to me that hope will never lose to despair. No, 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 no. What are you saying? I don't understand at all. See? See? Isn't it typical that if you face a strong enemy, you will become even stronger yourself? Which means, the stronger the despair you face, the stronger everyone's hope will become, right? I... I want to see that brightness. And in order to see it, I'm going to become everybody's stepping stone. I want to make your hope shine. It's as simple as that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's right. I yearn for a powerful hope that can overcome any kind of despair. You're kidding, right? You kidding? Don't tell me. You're actually serious. Man. So you don't understand. That's fine. I really don't mind. <laughs> it just an, I'm just an obsessed fanboy, so it's alright that this love of mine is unrequited. I suppose... I can be called the ultimate, ultimate fanatic. No way, no way, no way! You... There's something wrong with you. <laughs> really? Do you really think so? Do you really think there's something wrong with me? Hey. But isn't that what love is? N Nagito? What's the meaning of this? Explain it to me. I don't understand anything about the story at all. See? You see, if you have a favorite boxer, don't you want him to fight against a strong opponent and win? Don't fuck with me! You better not compare us to that. What? Huh? Am I wrong? It's a given that trials are necessary to become strong, and the harsher the trial, the stronger you become, no? <laughs> For me, humans, killings are a simple a tragedy. Oh, simply a tragedy. But worthy humans, a trial such as this can elevate the status to an even higher level. Amazing! It's amazing to me that someone as untalented as myself can become that trial. There's no point in someone like me surviving. It's far more significant for me to die as everyone's trial. Great! There's no greater honor than becoming the foundation so that, you may, so that your values may ascend to brave new heights. What's going on? Stop it. You're seriously starting to piss me off. What's going on? I don't understand at all. Are you saying you basically wanted to commit murder for fun? <laughs> it's not the same as someone killing for fun, but I guess it looked the same in your eyes. I... I have no intention of surviving and leaving you all to die. Is that why you didn't mind when Terra Terra discovered your plan? That's wrong. Or perhaps that was intentional too. Huh? Huh? So... Nakito wanted to involve us in the killing. Plus, it'd be better for him if the mystery was more complex. That's why you blatantly revealed your plan to Teru Teru. You expected to pique your Teru Teru's curiosity, and you look forward to the mystery becoming more complex. Well, well, you're basically right. It's true. I was looking forward to that. That's why I took the time to tell him about the secret passage I found while I was cleaning. What? That was your doing as well? You're right. I was casually... I just casually mentioned it. Oh, it's dangerous if you fall, 
still get close to it. Hey, 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 hey! Dude, he's seriously batshit crazy. He's insane. I... That's right. That's why I tried to stop him, you know? However... But why? Why did you kill Byakuya instead? I don't know! Because Nagito was the one who was supposed to take that knife. That's why I aimed and thrust at the iron skewer there. <laughs> why is Byakuya the one who died? It's supposed to be Nagito, not him! Byakuya probably tried to stop Nagito from grabbing the knife. And then, in place of Nagito... Nope. No, I don't think that's it. Huh? Perhaps... Byakuya was probably trying to protect Nagito. What? What did you say? See? Because Byakuya said so, didn't he? Don't worry, as long as I'm the leader, I won't let anyone become a victim. I will guide you all. That much, I promise. Could it be? In order to keep that promise. As long as he was wearing the night vision goggles, I'm sure he saw someone moving under the floorboards. And that someone was aiming for Nagito. Why? So Byakuya gave his life to protect Nagito? Even though he was trying to take the knife? <laughs> I see. Byakuya is amazing. To keep his promise to protect everyone. He actually threw his own life away. And yet... Such despair. I've never expected an ending like this. Such despair. Huh? <laughs> but we shouldn't let him die in vain. I'm sure everyone will become even stronger by overcoming this despair. No way. Could it be? You knew Byakuya could protect you, so you set him up to fail? Someone like me? Of course not. I'm not good at, I'm not that good at calculating. I just took some precautionary measures. The results of that were going to be my fun for later. Just kidding. How unexpected. But I never expected it to turn out like this. I never thought I'd be the one to survive. But since it was my life that had been saved, I didn't want I didn't want to just waste it. So that's why I decided to help Terry Terry. Why? Why? <laughs> well, because Teru Teru decided to commit his crime because he had also had strong hope, right? Which means his actions were motivated by hope. If he was willing to go that far, I thought he might be truly be the person whose existence I was waiting for. <laughs> I thought he might be the hope that could defeat any type of despair. In order for me to confirm it, I decided to help Teru Teru. What do you mean confirm it? Just stop it already! Well... Plus, I couldn't really help myself when I also empathized with Teru Teru. After all, he wanted to kill me, but he ended up killing Byakuya instead, you know? If I left him in that confusing state, this trial might have been ruined, right? Isn't that right? But in order for our hope to grow, this trial was absolutely necessary. That's why I decided to help him. I told him, I don't care if I die, so you should just focus on escaping this island. Right? Those were my exact words to him before the investigation. Isn't that right, Teru Teru? <laughs> Man. In the end, my help just wasn't enough, and this turned out to be a bad ending for Teru Teru. <laughs> but you should be proud of yourself. You will not die in vain. Great. You will become a splendid sacrifice for everyone else so their hopes can grow even more powerful. Impossible! Sacrifice? Shut up! Shut up! Seriously, stop it already! I'm gonna go crazy just listening to you! Hey, hey! Hey, is it really okay for us to just leave this crazy bastard alone like this? Huh? Isn't it better if we just fucking kill him off? Yeah! <laughs> kill, he said! High school students are so violent these days. <laughs> but the person who's gonna get killed now isn't Nagito. It's Teru Teru. <laughs> What's the matter? <laughs> you didn't forget, right? Because I told you already at the beginning, right? If the blackened killer loses, a fun punishment awaits them. Wait, 
Hold on. No, 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 no. That was, how should I put it? An accident. Um, an act of self-defense. Uh, not intentional. Anyway, I feel it's possible it's not my fault. Hey! It doesn't matter if it's an accident, self-defense, or intentional. A murder is still a murder. If you kill someone, that's murder. Hey! But what? Isn't there anything like sympathy judgments? Ex uh, extenuating circumstances, or even, even, maybe even probation? Impossible! I don't accept any of those claims! Th that's... Th that's not... Hey! Hey, save me, you guys! I was only trying to stop Nagito, so... so... Why you? Be honest. After learning about Nagito's plan, you saw an opportunity, right? You probably thought nobody would find out if you killed him after messing up his plan, right? That's what you thought, right? Wrong! You're wrong! I... Hmm. There's no way a person who has no malice would kill someone like that. <sighs> In truth, you were just desperate to kill Nagito and willing to sacrifice everybody to survive, right? Just be honest already, at least in the end. No, 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 no. That is. Teru, Teru. Why? If only he didn't try to kill Nagito, Yakuya could would still be alive. Answer me. Why did you commit murder? Answer me, Teru, Teru. <laughs> I just, I just wanted to go home. I needed to go back home no matter what! Because she's waiting for me. Mama is waiting for me at home. Just waiting all by herself for the day I graduate Hope Stick Academy and come home. Okay, I'm going now. When I come back, I think we should talk again about opening an Aoyama and Azabu location. Oh my, you're still talking about that? Oh, I'm serious. The Academy guarantees success for its graduates, right? So, I know it's gonna be difficult by yourself, but wait for me until then, okay? Yes, you're right. Then I'll just have to do my best to keep the Hanamura Diner from going out of business until then. Mom. You don't have to work so hard. What if you collapse again while I'm gone? I'll be fine. Moms are strong. I won't lose to some illness. <laughs> I know that already. I, I know that already. I promised. I promised her I'd become a full-fledged cook and save the Hanamura Donna. Mama, just wait for me to keep that promise. Even though she's sick and alone, she's still waiting for me. That's why I need to go home! Teru <sighs> Teru! <laughs> if we were told our memories were stolen, and that several years have passed since our first day, hey. then what happened to the Hanamura Diner? What happened to my mom who's still waiting for me? So you did believe what Monokuma said. Damn it! So you were saying all along. It's okay. I'll never believe something like this. So, why? Wrong! I still don't believe it! <laughs> There's no way I can believe it. It has to be a lie. That's why I wanted to go home! I wanted to go home and confirm it. I wanted to make sure. It was all just a lie. I wanted to make sure that I still have a place to call home. <laughs> Teru, Teru, you... I don't believe it. I don't believe it. It's not that Teru, Teru didn't believe it. He believed it more than anybody else here. That's why he kept denying it. Because he believed it. He needed to deny it. Damn it! If only I knew how he felt, something like this would have never happened. I... I just wanted to confirm my enemy was necessary. I had to do something. 
That's when I heard Nagato's plan. I found out he was going to kill someone, and if I left him alone, that's that's why. That's why. Fine, fine. So you wanted the first kill? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, you got It doesn't mean I wanted to sacrifice any of you, but it was the only thing I could do, and I ended up killing Yakuya instead of Nagato. I see. I think I'm the one who went crazy. Terror, terror. <laughs> I see, I see. Interesting, but as far as motives to kill are concerned, wanting to see your mom is boring. Fuck you. What? So, It seems there's no point in basking in the afterglow. So let's hurry up and begin the punishment. You can't! No, you can't! Jeez, get out of my way! <sighs> well now. There. Now that my annoying little seaster has been dealt with, let's get back to business. Oh, wait! Hold on a sec. I'm not asking for forgiveness anymore, but at least... Now then, I I've prepared a very special punishment! punishment for Teru Teru Hanamura! The ultimate cook! Hey! Call me chef! No wait, that's not what I... P please! Please, tell me at least what happened to the Hanamura Dada, to Mama. Let's give it everything we've got! It's, it's punishment, punishment time! time. Lies! I won't believe this! I won't believe it! part right there. Poor Terra Terra. Oh boy. It's gonna get real fucking ugly. Deep right territory. Oh boy. Butter. Just nothing but butter. And then what do we have for you next? Plates. Oh boy. Into the pit of ooh, the pit of hate. Enough goes the deep fried. Tempura shrimp. Every single one of us now understands what it's like to see the despair in an eyes. Extreme! Yahoo! Extreme! Yeah! Whew. Whew. The adrenaline is rushing through me. Oh, oh, too, too. Damn it! Oh, you fucking serious? <laughs> How cruel. Why? Why did you do something so cruel? Wah wah? Huh? Didn't you learn when, when you were in elementary school? If you badmouth someone, your teacher writes it in a note and makes whoever you badmouth read it to you in front of the class. When that happens, only then do you think about how it feels to be bad-mouthed. The same applies to murder. What are you saying? You're the one who drove him to it! <laughs> so cruel. This is just too cruel. Nice! Oh. 
Well, it can't be helped. Rules are rules, and this is the killing rule after all. What rules? You're the one who's breaking the rules. Mm -hmm. Huh? I can't, I can't just let that slide. What do you mean? When you mentioned the motive, didn't you also promise something? However, there's a catch. Don't tell me the catch is... <laughs> Figured it out yet? That's right, you guys have to kill each other. That's my bargaining point. You guys want to know, right? You want your school memories to turn to you, right? Then you better start killing. A penny for your thoughts, a murder for your memory. Why? Why didn't you tell him Terry Terry about his mom or his diner? He had a right to know. You. Yeah. Us too. We all have a right to know. Bastard! Hey, hurry up and tell us. What do you mean earlier when he mentioned our school memories? <laughs> oh yeah, I did promise to return your memories after the killing began. <gasps> huh? You're gonna do it? But telling them is kind of... <laughs> but I never told you guys that I'd tell you right away. What? Not fair. That's not fair. Of course! Of course! I'll keep my promise to return your memory someday. But it's still not clear when that someday will actually be. <laughs> um, I must excuse myself as well. There's something I need to do. Huh? What the heck? S so cruel! That's not fair! They both ran away! Then... Monokuma had us wrapped around his finger after all. Stupid! Teru Teru, you stupid! Such despair. An ending like this is just full of despair. A seriously tragic despair. But still, at times like this... <laughs> as the symbols of hope, you guys need to keep doing your best. You! You! Why are you smiling? Crap! How can you smile in a situation like this, you creep? Nope. Hold on. I'm sad too, you know. Didn't I tell you? From the bottom of my heart, I truly love you all. You ultimates who inspire hope. And your splendid talents. There's, a way, there's no way I can be happy when we've lost such a talented individual. Don't fuck with me! Don't go saying creepy shit. I'll fucking kill you. <laughs> Please. Kill me anytime. What? Huh? <laughs> you hate me? I don't mind you killing me. I've already prepared myself to become your stepping stone. <laughs> Someone like me. If absolute hope can be born from that, then my life is nothing special. Mm. You. How messed up are you? Hey. However, if you're going to kill me, Make sure you discuss it with me beforehand, okay? You see, if you do that, then I can cooperate with the killer. Are you seriously intending to help the killer? <laughs> it's really not that big of a deal. If you are students of Hope Speak Academy, and if you're the symbols of Hope who possess the chosen talents, great! Then it shouldn't matter to you. Oh, then it shouldn't matter to you guys at all if I cooperate with the killer, right? You fiend. <clears throat> Declaring so confidently that you'll side with the killer. Hey! Maybe this was his plan all along. Since he's willing to work with the killer, he wants us to think it's better for us not to kill him. Well, well, I don't mind what you think of me. In actuality, thanks to Fyakuya, I'm starting to feel a small desire to live. This is exciting! Mostly... I just want to catch everyone destroy all the despair that comes for you, one after the other. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. You pissed me off. Hey, can I punch you? I won't be satisfied till I punch you. Fine. Let's stop this already. It's just going to be a waste of time if we keep dealing with them. What? Huh? Even Hajime hates me now? How unfortunate. That stings. I thought you and I were quite similar. What does that... Isn't that right? You hold a very... You hold a special feeling toward Hope Speak Academy. Just like me. Don't put me in the same category as you. Hey. But how can you say you're not? Monokuma said it himself. 
We don't know anything about each other's true nature. <laughs> no. If it's true that our school memories were stolen, it's the same as not knowing our true selves, too. Especially for you, right? Someone who can't even remember what his talent is. Akane, please feel free to punch him. <laughs> Will do. Wait, hold on. Please stop. Please stop this at once. Nothing will come for fighting like this. There, there is something else that we must do. Huh? Something else? Please listen. We must not argue with each other in a place like this. There is something more important we must do. Let me ask. Which is? Do our best. You fiend. Hmm? Well? We must first leave here and get some rest. And then we shall work, we shall all work together to do our best. Do our best so we never have to come back here again. Perhaps. That is what I believe we must do right now. I am sorry. If only I was a better motivational speaker. No. That really touched my heart. You're totally right. What we need to do right now is do our best. If we do our best, it's definitely going to pay off, right? Yes. Yes, that is right. Like... But what do we have to work hard at? <laughs> I do not know, but we must do our best. Jeez. Jeez, I don't get you at all. Are you some kind of moron? Well? It's fine if you don't know. What matters is that you hold on to the feeling that you have to do your best. Right? So, let's do our best. Let's make sure a killing like this never happens again. But... It's scary, but... Doing our best is our only option. There's no way I'm doing what Nagito said. I'm gonna do it! Alright! I don't know what you're talking about. Let's do our best for now. Fine. Very well. Even if we are not able to change the future, I guess I should at least change my tomorrow. <coughs> Damn fiend. Now we'll give up till the very end. I won't die in vain. I'll give my entire existence, my entire power, my entire body and soul, and fight to the very end! Yeah, you're right. Let's definitely work together and leave this island. Do our best. We kept using that phrase over and over again. Even though we were we knew they were just cheap, meaningless, empty words. Regardless, we still said it. And we continued to say it over and over again without stopping. Thus, the curtain had fallen upon the class trial where Byakuya and Teru Teru were sacrificed. Afterwards, we left the trial grounds and returned to the mainland of Jabberwock Island. For the time being, we decided to go back to our cottages. After experiencing something like that, there's no way I could fall asleep. I gave up, got out of the bed, and began walking around the hotel grounds for no real reason. After not doing much of anything, I dully looked up at the sky. And there, just like before, there it was. The night sky brimming with stars. Stars that looked like they were about to fall into my hands like fluttering snow. As I looked up at such a beautiful night sky, I can go anywhere. That thought crossed my mind for some reason. The sky is connected to anywhere, even to my daily life. That's why... I might be able to go home. That's right. I'm definitely going to go home. Hmm? That's when it happened. As I stared up at the night sky, I felt a strange convergence of sensation. And then, while I continued to stare at the night sky, I felt my entire body stiffen with that sensation. Isn't this... Is someone watching me? Nineteen days. Hmm. 
Chapter 1 is complete. What a ride. We've lost Byakuya and Teru Teru. The Thick Boys season has now been over. Unfortunate. And to be continued. A three star badge. Oh, we tuned the present to a wooden stick. Save our current progress. Yes. Well, that is going to do it. <clears throat> For a long time, humans have been taught that if you try hard enough, you can accomplish anything. Or actually, let's. No, do I want to? Yeah, let's continue this. Let's see. For a long time, for a long time, you just have to talk. You try it hard enough, you can accomplish anything. Even if we weren't told this directly, you'd know it just by looking at the world around us. The internet, TV, and newspapers are overflowing with hopeful messages that say exactly that. But people who can't win, people who don't try to win, people who try their best and still can't win. They are all worthless trash. There are two kinds of people in this world. Those who are born with worth, and everybody else. No matter how hard a lowly human tries, they will never be the same as someone who was born worthy. They say that effort breeds success, but that's a complete lie. The world is not that accommodating. No matter how hard a small dog tries, it will never become a large dog. No matter how much a penguin tries, there's no way it will ever soar through the sky. Which means, unworthy humans will never become worthy, no matter what they do. People with talent don't become talented. They're just born with their abilities right from the start. That's right, just like you guys. That's why I have so much respect for you all. Uh, just so you know, what I feel is different from admiration. Admiration is wishing you could be like the object of your admiration. But what I feel is not so self-serving. How should I put it? What I feel is more pure. More like a selfless love that wants nothing in return. So, I want you guys to believe me when I say... I don't mind if you kill me, but if that happens, I want you to let me help. I don't care if the killer survives, or if everyone but the killer survives. I just want both sides to do their very best. I want to see with my own two eyes the absolute hope that lies ahead. Yep, I'm really lucky. Someone as insignificant as me will be there when hope and despair collide and unleash their energy. So please, let me help you. If you're planning to kill me, I would be honored mm -hmm. to help you carry out your plan. I want you to use me as a stepping stone so everyone can shine. I want you to kill me in a way that befit... Oh, shut up! Alrighty. Chapter 2, Seeing Punishment, Sin, and Coconuts, Daily Life. Okay, so that is the beginning of Danganronpa 2. Well, Danganronpa 2 is Chapter 2. So we can save right here. And we can stop right here. And, oh hey, we unlocked something. Experience some battles between Monobi and the Monobi that occurred behind the scenes. Okay. We'll, tr we'll, we'll, we'll see if that goes later. But, uh, yeah. Uh, that is gonna do it. Thank you all so much for watching, and thank you all for coming by. I am... I am happy that we finished Chapter 1. Especially, uh, uh... Like, a day before... Well, a day after the stream. That was something I was gonna say. But, yeah. I had a fun time. Uh... Now, I did stream today and Smash Fest. I'm not sure if that can be become a thing tonight. But if not, then that's okay. There's always another time. But for now, um, I'm just going to get some rest, relax, and see what's up with 
uh, my friends and all that. Stay tuned for tomorrow for Kingdom Hearts 2. That's right, we're going to be continuing Kingdom Hearts 2 tomorrow night at uh, 6 p.m. Central Standard Time, of course. And then afterwards, uh, we'll, we'll see. We'll just see how it goes. But for now, I'm, I'm just going to rest. And afterwards, um, yeah, we'll see how it goes today. It's Wednesday after all. It's a pretty, pretty nice day outside. All right, follow me on Instagram and Twitter if you wish. They are in the description on both Twitch and YouTube. Uh, for Twitch, it's my bio. For YouTube, it's my both the um, about page and the description of every video, along with my public Discord server, which you can join at any time, say hi, and be part of our small little community. And uh, yeah, if you can, you can follow me on Twitch, so that way you can get in, you can get uh, informed for when I'm live on Twitch, which I stream every Tuesday. And then uh, most points on Wednesday, Friday, and sometimes Sunday. It really greatly depends. But for now, yeah. This is Dragon P. Uh, please take good care of yourselves. Stay safe. And don't do anything ridiculous, please. Uh, again, stay tuned for more Rumpa 2 next Tuesday. And then for Kingdom Hearts 2, stay tuned for that tomorrow on YouTube. So, I hope to see y'all there. Alright. Take it easy. Have a good night. And I will... <laughs> Take it easy. Have a good... Uh, what time is it? Afternoon. Have a good afternoon. And I'll see y'all next time. Peace.